Hello, so this is the first lesson in describing the statistical hypotheses. Now we are going to define what are the hypotheses and what is the testing. So let's have a quick look. Now exactly what is a hypothesis or a statistical hypothesis? In fact, it is not more than an assumption. So we have some facts and we have some assumptions. Our hypothesis is a description of some assumption about some parameter in some distribution or some population. Uh, we will look later about the population and our assumption about exactly the mean or the variance of this population or this uh, distribution. Uh, this is exactly what is the hypothesis. So a hypothesis is exactly only an assumption about a property or a parameter in a population or a distribution. So what will be the testing? In fact, the testing is nothing more than a checking our assumption, if our assumption is correct, true or not true. This is the testing of a hypothesis. So we have a hypothesis and after that we will perform the testing on the hypothesis to conclude if this hypothesis will be true or false according to statistical methods. So now let's have an example. Suppose a company which is only producing the water bottles. So our product for this company is the plastic water bottles. So this is our product. Now the critical value for this product is the capacity of a single water bottle. Now suppose this product or this type have the capacity which is supposed to be 500 milliliter of water. Now our assumption for our production line for example for this product that the mean value of all bottles or the average should be exactly as much as possible close to 500 millimeter. So in fact our assumption about our product is that the mean value of this, of the capacity of any water bottle is 500 millimeter. So now we are going to describe our population. So our population in fact is the product of water bottles and the parameter we are looking for is the mean value or the average. The average of the capacity of any of all of any of uh, these water bottles. So in fact we are examining or checking if our production is still the same at 500 milliliter for all bottles. In fact, we are worried about some uh, critical issues such as if the capacity will be higher or lower than 500. So if the capacity is more than 500, this will be a problem of filling more than water or the capacity will be below 500 we will be criticized, for example, by the customer or the quality uh, or the quality observers. So let's have some other examples. For example, this is the integrated circuit, which is found in many electrical devices, especially in electronics. So one important issue in ICs is the temperature during operation or working. So this is one of the most critical problem during the operation of integrated circuit. We should maintain the temperature below some critical values. So suppose that according to manufacturing and the design of this IC, the critical temperature is 45 degrees centigrade after one hour of operation. So this is our critical value. According to the design and the manufacturing of this IC, 
we should not exceed the 45 degrees centigrade so in fact if we have some this is su such as like uh, our limit of the acceptable temperature of operation so if it is possible to to have some temperature below 45 this is fine but if it is above 45 degrees centigrade this will be critical and fatal for this IC so in fact here our product or our population is the IC integrated circuit we are looking for the parameter of the mean value of the temperature of operation after one hour our assumption or our hypothesis that the mean value is 45 degrees centigrade at maximum so here is also another example about a hypothesis so suppose that there is a chemical engineer who is responsible to check some concentration of specific antiseptic in a public swimming pool so suppose that the concentration should be maintained at least to be 740 part per million so in fact for uh, for the health and for the good condition of the this public swimming pool the concentration of this material should be at least 740 part per million so in fact our population is the swimming pool itself and our assumption or our hypothesis is that the mean value of the concentration in any part or any position of this swimming pool should be at least 740 part per million so we should keep this value or higher but lower values are not acceptable because we will have some critical uh, situations in fact all the previous examples we have shown that we can do some hypothesis or assumption about the mean value but in fact we can also do the hypothesis and testing for the variability to uh, measure the variability and for example the variance or the standard deviation of some product we will look in fact later how to formulate and how to uh, how to test our hypothesis about central tendency for the mean value also for the variability especially for the variance or the standard deviation